All right, folks. So here we go. We got the uh, term model one eight scale done by Red Cat, and we're gonna proceed, and we are going to fix one of the uh, broken pieces. Now, let me just pull these guys out because I don't know. I didn't think of. Uh, Bringing, bringing my 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 pliers, my real pliers. So this one is usually the hardest one. There it goes. So I got four pins. I'm not sure if you guys want to watch this. Um, of course, I can pause it, or you can fast forward and uh, go from there. Here we go. Here's the damage this rear wheel if you see my earlier video oh there it is that's the piece we gotta fix right over here and you can guys see it right there so we're gonna put that we're gonna insert that inside not sure how long that's going to take but to do so we got our uh, Loosen and undo the uh, tire. <clears throat> this thing is tight as a mother. Whew. All right, now it's smooth, smoother than I thought. This is not really the uh, damn it. The uh, the, the uh, piece that I actually need, but it worked. All right, we're gonna remove that wheel. As you can see, there's nothing in the wheel. Again, um, there are some people that have complained about these tires not being glued properly, and I can already see that this tire is coming off this way. So I probably will end up ordering ordering some other tires, and uh, we'll see how that long how, how that goes. Let me get my trusted tools. See something that I don't want you to do on, on a on a video. Hmm, interesting. All right. Well, let's just leave it at that. Again, everybody or lots of people do complain about these tires belonging and falling apart, ungluing themselves. Um, it's not a huge tire, guys. <laughs> you uh, you uh. I, I these tires look huge on every YouTube video I've seen, but they're not. They are probably a four-inch diameter inside the rim, and uh, inch and a half tire, so they're not really that big. So here we go. I see that the screw is there. The screw is right over there. This is the piece we are talking about. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to flip it over. And of course, again, the uh, the loosen loosen the screws right screw right over here. Uh, <clears throat> I got this arm uh, this truck off of uh, eBay, like I said earlier. So, if you need more details about <clears throat> how I uh, acquire this vehicle, be more than happy to let you watch the other channel now here's a screw it's nice don't ask me what size don't really care now here's a beautiful bag full of tools I'm sorry tools no, parts <clears throat> now here is the funny thing this is easy parts now <clears throat> if you take a look at this I've paid for this $21 for $13 I would only get for thirteen dollars, I would only get this. That's all I would get. It does come with screws and all that good stuff, so I am going to have extra screws. But this is for fourteen dollars. This is what I would get. However, I paid twenty-one dollars, and what I got is pins, upper arm, not the upper arm for rear. A arm, A arm. Now, if 
MIP company will be smart enough to say, you know what, Motorola, Motorola is coming, Motorola, <laughs> uh, Terramudo is coming uh, out, and there's lots of people that need to do improvement and replacement. That would actually make sense for these guys to build or to. That, that. I don't have a towel. I don't want to mess up my pen. Sorry, guys. I gotta put something over my my knees because I'm doing this on the floor. All right, here we go. So, yeah, my pee could have come out with an idea, said like, well, you know what? These guys are going to, you know, do their money, and we'll be happy to build some. MIP parts for Terramoto. Again, this thing came in just like that from eBay and all I will do is replace, replace, replace this part and the truck is as new. It's got the electric system, it's got everything already in and again there it goes. And again, I uh, will not be able to use the top part. However, I will be able to. Is this going in? Yeah, it is going in because it's going to be reversed. Man. I'm not going to worry about this now, but you get the idea. I pretty much get a rod out of this. This, this size is good. Ah, so I can switch around and do whatever I gotta do. Alright, so I got two screws extra, which is beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the brand new one. I'm gonna use the same screws that I've used originally on the truck. I'm gonna put the broken one out here. So I still have one additional one. And to see how durable this plastic is, that the uh, red card says that. The air seas are great and all that good stuff. We'll check it out. Um, you see the pins, the pins they look good. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. We're going to insert. Uh, guys, I'm not going to show you how to screw a screw because they're just retarded. I know you all adults out there and kids know how to do this. Although between the inconvenience of the battery backs and the inconvenience of everything else, in a way, we might be able to be successful, not remove everything, just half of it, and call it a day. Now, we want to have a little play not not too much play beautiful this is done all the way nice and tight I can get my trusty tool all right now we're gonna move forward to install this young man that looks like again it came from the uh, bottom because we have it upside down you're going to oh, hold on a second how is that one that one is that one is actually over, so we would have to do this way. Kind of awkward. Why would I do it that way? I do it that way. Oh, it's okay. No, because it just shims down and kind of close call. This. All right, let's let's just get that going there. Come on. Okay. Guys, you don't have to be handy to do this. It's not a big deal. Again, there's some improvements that I will do to this truck. But until then, we will do the uh, minimum. 
Uh, how does this look? Alright. This is your rear, so it's not supposed to be going crazy. Now, interesting build. I like it. Uh, again, there are Ali A arms in to my knowledge and to the looks of it and they look almost identical these these the ones that I ordered they are rear usually the front ones break but I will work with that so guys this is it okay 10 minutes and 43 seconds me yapping and uh, got it done finished okay so this is not hard okay gotta replace fuck this cost me $23 Pay for the truck shipping. Pay for the truck, 165. Shipping was 30 dollars, 195 plus 23 dollars, and the RC is buck to where it was. I line this guy up. Just gonna take my trusty nut, get it nice and tight. All right. I would have to look for my good tool that I have for the wheels. These are 17s. I don't have 17s somewhere. Laying around. Wow. Beautiful. That's tight enough. Let's check all the other ones. Guys, don't forget to tie up your, your wheels when you go out and bash. You don't want these guys to come out when you bash it in the air. And everything else is falling in the air. Again, yes, the RC was used, but with a couple of dollars spare, you have a $340 RC fix for $23. I think the uh, person I sold it to me was fed up, I guess, with the red cut issue, whatever. Maybe he was just trying to buy a new one, and he probably did. But you know what? This thing is beautiful. It's a great build. It is solid build. It looks like it has, can't even tell, but it sounds like it does have a metal gear. So that's all good. And uh, again, I mean, it was missing that broken part, which we have replaced it. Okay, everything is nice and beautiful. <clears throat> it also had missing pins for the battery case that of course I had lying around all over the place uh, let me see this guy this is the front so let, let it be like that um, guys folks people boys and girls you know this is what you got here for a couple dollars you have a brand new truck uh, like this front could be better, but again, supposed to observe any impact, which it is, okay? Um, when I have the battery, so the battery is not even in. I have to charge the batteries and hopefully you uh, guys give you a nice, uh, beautiful run because this beast is ready. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Whatever you see on the internet is like 20 times bigger. It looks 20 times bigger to me. So, this is not a huge truck, but it's not small. Uh, as you can see, my rear shocks, they are squeezed in. Um, I don't think that they have uh, a lot, a lot uh, oil in the, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of silicone. Um, I will see what's going to happen with uh, the uh, dog bones. Everybody complains that they fall out. I am trying to see how is it possible that they will fall out i don't see it to be possible maybe some guys all you know got a defect or something like that so uh that that is possible other than that dude i am done it's a sexy truck is about to uh go take the run and it took me only 10 minutes all right so i guess we're gonna run next project i will try to replace the battery holders okay however if you get Traxxas battery 5,000 milliamp hours if it's right in 
5,000. These are 3,200. 5,000 will fit right in. From Choxus, I already checked, they go in like butter. So at least you get 5,000, 5,000, that's 10,000 10, uh, million hours. That's pretty decent. 3S, not gonna go, you can't even put that in there. Uh, VXL6, VXL, uh, L, uh, VXL S6, I will do.